Okay, this is for Linus and Lucy. Okay, I'm going to do the first page and you can play along with me. Before you try to play along with me, I'm just going to give you some practice tips. You should practice hands separately. There are a lot of patterns in the left hand. Uh, double check your finger numbers because it tells you the, the numbers under the notes. Um, and however old you are, that's how many times you should practice each line. So hands together. So if you are, you know, 12 years old, play the line 12 times. And I bet you by the time you play it 12 times, you're going to be great. Even if you're good at it five times, practice means over and over and over. Don't think because you got it right once that you're done. Oh, I got it. Okay, well, I'm done. No, go ahead and practice and reinforce it to know it great. All right. Some of you may already know the first page. So if you, but if you need to practice it, um, you can go ahead and pause the video right now and turn it back on when you're ready to try to play with me. Remember that the left hand first note is a C and it's a very low C and it should sound like this. Okay. All right. So you've turned the video back on. You're ready to play together. I'm going to go fairly slow this first time. We're going to do one page. The left hand does the same thing over and over and over until the last two measures where it does not start on a C. It starts on a what? E flat. And remember, it's, a, it's an octave. It's E flat with something in the middle and then another E flat, okay? Just like when you play the C's, it's C, something in the middle, and another C. So if you didn't already figure out that pattern, your hand is stretching an octave. So your hand's stretching pretty far. All right, so put both hands in place. Your right hand needs to prepare with third finger on C, F-A-C-E spells face. All right, let's try it. One, two, three, four. minute I decided I might as well play till the end of the first ending. Then it has a repeat sign. So don't forget when you play that first ending it goes back to the repeat sign on the first page. Now if you had trouble with the right hand you know you need to practice it separately. It's very easy it just starts on C it goes up then it goes down. And for most of you I've simplified this a little bit and um, just had the one note. So it's it's not very hard. Now, if you could not keep up with that, um, then you need to go ahead and pause the video and practice again, or you can just rewind the video and practice with me. I suggest you wear earbuds. A couple of my students wore earbuds when they were listening to their videos, and I think you can hear better, and also it takes out any other distracting noises in case you have anybody else um, in your house or siblings or anything like that. Um, the trick to this song, just to double check that you are doing this right before we move on, let's look on page one, line one, two, three, four, line four, okay? Um, actually, let's do line two, measure two. So box two, line two, measure two. We're gonna make sure that your timing is correct. We're going to play together, so set your hands. Ready? One, and when I say freeze, you're going to freeze, okay? One, two, play slow. This slow. Freeze. Those should be together, then you have one more note that's by itself in that measure, okay? Let's try that again. Ready? Play. that last C is by itself in the right hand, okay? 
because when we're playing it fast, sometimes we're not realizing whether we're doing the correct rhythms. Um, and when I FaceTime you for a lesson, I'll double check it, make sure your rhythm's right, but that's just something, something to think about because you want to practice correctly because it's going to take twice as long to fix if you practice incorrectly and then we have to fix it. Better to go slow at first and then fix it later. So let's go to page two and we're going to go to line two, measure two, okay? This first part's real fun. Um, look at the left hand and the bottom note is a what? It's one lower than the, the bottom line of the bass clef. The bottom line of the bass clef is G for great, right? And so this is one lower, so it's letter F. So make sure you have your pinky on F. It's a low F. Play yours. Make sure we're playing the same one. Okay, and your top note, all cows. So it's a C. So let's try to play the left hand together. Ready? play. Try again. That's pretty easy, right? Let's look at our right hand. Bottom note, A. Let's see how fast you can find it. Can you find it faster than I can say it? Top note is F. So let's try the right hand. Ready, play. And all your hand does is everybody moves up one. Okay, on that last note, on your first four eighth notes, okay? So let's try together. Ready, play now. One and two and. Let's try again. It's pretty easy because they both move up in the same direction. Now here comes the part that's a thinker. Okay, I should have crossed out some of the notes for you, okay? So the next note it has NC written above it, just means no chord. We don't have to worry about that. There's no chord in the left hand. We're only playing the bottom note, which is a G. Then it goes up one to A. Let's try that again. So it's G, A. Again, G, A together. Together. Okay, and if you need to stop and practice that a few times and then resume the video, you can do it. Okay? All right, I'm going to try the last section we were working on quickly. One, two, here it goes. Try again. Let's try both hands. So set both your hands. I'm going to go pretty slow and I'm going to play the rest of the page. Starting on line two, measure two. Ready, play now. because one measure because I don't want to create a stop there okay now it was basically the same thing over and over I did alter your music a little bit so we got to make sure that this part I played the G and then I played A and C together two times G A and C again G A and C again. yeah okay so I made that part a little bit different um, and I tried to simplify this piece a little bit okay and then it just goes back to the first thing that you did you should already know the next page um, and so what I'm gonna do right now is play all three pages and the only thing that you'll have to practice now is the fourth page and there's one tricky part that you haven't played. It's not really tricky, but it sounds like this. It's the third line, fourth page. Turn to your music and look at it as I play it. And you can clap along to get the beat, okay? One and two 
and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three. That's what it sounds like. So let's do it again. Now, I think what I'm even going to do, let me get my pencil. On line three, second measure, under the first note, you're going to take a pencil and put number one. Okay, now the second note, I almost didn't see that dot. It's a dotted quarter note. So it's like how many eighth notes is a dotted quarter note worth? It's worth one and a half beats. So how many eighth notes is that? Three. So we're going to put under that and, two, and. Now the next note is a quarter note. So that's like two eighth notes. So we're gonna put three and, and under the two eighth notes, we're gonna put four and. I'm gonna show you in the camera what it should look like. Right there, okay? So I've got my counts written in, and make sure you have your counts written in just like that, okay? Because that one almost tricked me when I was sight reading that. So that ending then, let's go to the one, two, third line. Now you can practice it with the video paused, turn it back on, and when you think you're ready, you can play it with me. It's not, it's not really that hard, it's just different. Everything else is a pattern. Okay, you ready? Here we go. Three and four and one. And two and three and four and one. And two and three and four and. Okay, so I counted out loud. Uh, I know a lot of people don't like to count out loud, but look, you're practicing at home by yourself, so it's a good idea to count out loud. So I would try to rewind that part and count with me, and you have it written in anyway, so it should be easy. All right, I guess I'm going to try to play the whole thing. Hopefully I won't have a stop when I try to turn the page. I don't know. I'll see what I can do. All right, and then you're going to see if you can kind of follow along with me, okay? So here we go. Three and four and. that was still recording I got a little distracted there um, I, my low battery thing came on it didn't look like it was recording um, I did not play exactly correct one and two and three and four and two and three and four ah, see I did that wrong one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and so uh, double check that and the only other thing is just your hands moving you know when it goes the got to move that right hand down okay so hopefully you played that really good I'll also post a background track that you can play with this 
um, once you can play all the way through like that with me, then you're ready to try the background track. And I'll just make something fun for us to play together with, okay? And like I said, try to listen to it with earbuds plugged in. I think you'll be able to hear it a lot better. It's such a fun song. If you can, you'll get it faster like this. Oh goodness, like this. <laughs> speed of the piece. I didn't play it quite that fast when we played together. The main thing is to get it steady. So I played a little slower. It was still fast when we I played the whole thing. But once you get that, your goal can be to speed up the tempo just a little bit. It's a pretty cool song. So, you know, if you've never heard it, be sure you watch some Charlie Brown movies and then you'll for sure hear it. Okay. Uh, I'll make the video for the background for you now. So happy practicing.